This is a short video to tell you how to remove the PCB from a fuel burning heater. This heater is on a Rover 75 which is easily accessible under the bonnet. On other cars such as Freelander, Range Rover, Porsche you'll find it under the wheel arch which is more difficult to access but once you've accessed it the procedure for removing the PCB from the fuel burning heater is exactly the same. The first thing you need to do is to remove the fuse that's powering the FBH. On a Rover 75 the fuel box fuse box is right next to the FBH it's fuse number 8 and it's 20 amp just remove the fuse to kill the power right back to the FBH now on the top of it you'll find an air filter pipe and one of the coolant pipes if you just push those out of the way temporarily to enable you to access the top of the FBH the next thing is to remove these two plugs the first one has a tab on it push the tab in and pull the plug this second one is a six pin plug, which would normally have two tabs on it. This one is actually broken, but although it still works. But normally, when you remove this plug, you'll find two tabs, and you press the tabs in and pull it off. Just push the wires out of the way. The next thing is to remove this plastic cover, which hides some wires, which we need to disconnect to be able to remove the PCB. Now, this is awkward to remove, so what I find helpful is to put my fingers behind it and push it forward and get something on the front, like a little trim removal tool or a pick you will just prise it up you can do it with a screwdriver but it is very easy to break that piece there so be very careful once that's removed you've accessed the three uh, leads that you need to remove the first thing to do is take the cover off the fuel burning heater off the PCB this one has only got two screws on it you'll normally have four the screws are normally crosshead but they can be Torx depending on the vehicle you're removing it from Remove the first one. Remove the second one. Now the remove the second one. That's the lid off the over the top of the PCB. There's a rubber gasket on there which will normally stay on the lid, but just in case it starts to come loose, it has to go back on there before you refit it. You now need to remove these three leads and be, note that the last plug isn't occupied. So the first one you remove is the water pump, the second one is for your air fan and the third one is for your glow plug. Now the only thing that's holding the PCB in is one Torx screw there which is a Torx 15. Remove that along with the metal strip that it's attached to. That's how the FPH tells the temperature. Your PCB will now come out. Please note when you fetch it out that there's a rubber gasket lying on top of the PC of the FPH. That must be there when you refit the PCB. Sometimes it could be stuck on the bottom of here, but make sure you've got it. The other thing is there's a felt pad here. That when you fetch the PCB off, that's normally stuck to the bottom of the PCB. So just remove it and keep it because you need to put that back in when you refit the PCB. Okay? It's now removed and it's ready to send off for repair. Package it nice and well. And the wires that's here can just be left like that. The car will run perfectly normally with the fuse removed. Obviously the FPH won't work. If you want to put the cap back on you can but there's no need. You can just leave it like that. You might want to tidy it up with a cable tie until the PCB comes back from repair. And then you can just simply fit it back which is a reverse of the removal process. That's the end of the video. Thank you. Sure.